in the video, I'm, I'll be going over everything to be doing in Mutt right now. I can't, I can't use auction house right now, but if you can use auction house, there is some methods you can use. The auction house is very, very hard to work right now because of um, price caps and searching cards is really dumb right now. But if you can get cards, this playbook set costs three cards, three seventy overall cards, and you can get you can get the seventy overalls for cheap, cheap. Like all you have to do is kind of a very it's a very annoying process. Okay, not don't switch up strat cards. You want to switch up uncommon quality. You want to go over to you can go rookies or core set. Let's just go rookies for example at first. We see that there there is a little bit too many of them, obviously. Let's check all offense real quick. There's still too many, so we gotta go position by position. Let's go wide receiver. We have them for seven seven ten. That's not an awful price, honestly. If seven ten times three is uh, like twenty twenty one um thirty, which is still pretty cheap. But also that on these filters, you can snipe some cards like Xavier Worthy if he pops up for cheap or a Donnie Mitchell, Brian Thomas. Many of those, other, like many of these gold cards, you can, that are actually gold for a lot, you can get on the filter. But then you can also go to halfback, go to other, go to the other positions, and try to get those uh, seventy card, like those low cards for, like uh, like seven hundred or less, for most of them. Because that will that will be actually a very very good price for you. Because that's like and that's it's really cheap. You can get them all the way down to like three hundred. I think the cheapest is you can get. But. So, so you go get those three cards for like 700 or less. Then you go look in the auction house, go look at playbooks. It was better profit before, but market has went down a little bit on some. So if you want to go search by, go team by team. Let's go look at like the Dolphins, maybe. Dolphins offense goes for like 3,700. So you'd profit like a thousand something on it. And the defense goes for like 5,800. You profit a thousand, a few thousand maybe on defense. Jets, you would profit a few thousand on. Like I know it's not much, but it is what it is what it is right now at the beginning. You can't really do anything else. Like you can't really flip or anything. Piece of market is broken. Five K a year, that's you profit a few thousand on that. Like you most most of these playbooks you profit a few thousand on per. Which after a while will help you a lot. If you do like let's say if you do twenty of them and you spend 2,000, like 2,100 per, so it's like, like 42k to make, and you double on each one, you're gonna make back like 80k, so you'll profit like 40k on it. It's not bad profit. Might be slow, but you got the slow profit, you have to take slow profit right now at the very beginning of the year. I would be doing this right now, but I don't have any. I, don't, I can't post cards, which I can even show you. Like, I have this playbook right here. I wanna sell it for like 5k, but if I try going over here, Okay, I can barely sell that one. I don't know. I I think... Yeah, I can sell one card at a time right now. It is really dumb. I don't know why I can sell, only sell one card at a time, but... Apparently EA broke the game. They think I'm a bot. Because I'm just that good, apparently. I'm joking. So, if I want to post another card, though, it won't post. Like, if I post try to post Kadarius Tony, it shouldn't... Yeah, it says transaction limit reached. And I got level up more apparently. But you can do that for coin make method. You make playbooks. You can snipe like try sniping the speedy guys like Troy Anderson, Worthy, and then some other guys. But you can also be doing things like um solo seasons are pretty good. I will make a video on solo seasons right here. It goes up to 30 wins. And the more wins you get, the more rewards you get. Like right now, at 19 wins my next set of four games, I'll get 300 Mary Packs. And all that stuff. I would probably do the regular ones because all ultimate challenges I heard are really, really hard. You, st you start down like down 10 on hard difficulties. So I really don't think it's worth doing. Unless you're really, unless you have a better team. Seasons on, like, head to head rank apparently doesn't, doesn't actually give you any rewards. So I would probably do six to regular seasons if you're going to play online. This still gives you like 12k for a season, midfield pack. Uh, if you go in the other one, five, like if you get ranked up, you get more coins, you know, some packs. I don't know what the Super Bowl is, what you get for the Super Bowl yet, but it's not, probably won't be that bad. Champs is a, 
Champs is actually not that bad. Champs is pretty good. Um, you see, I get a good amount of wins though. You brought, probably want to get around 10 wins, 10 to 13 wins. 13 wins and win. I did 12 wins that win, it becomes really good. For for like coins wise and all that stuff. 12 wins is what you're rolling for, at least. Uh, but if you just started the game, make sure you get your solos done. Do all your solos except for, I can't, I'm not doing any solos. These season one solos are stupid. I can't beat them, honestly. Like, I I've tried this one chandra here for like 45 minutes. I just can't beat it. That to get a sack is like impossible on all pro and competitive. I can't do it. But I got the rest of the challenges done, except for like some in here. But I don't you know if there's a point to do those because I already got all the stars maxed out. I don't know. Solo battles, there are solo battle rewards again. They're not great, but there's a lot of, you can do your solo battles all right now. There's 28 games in here, then you have one this feature game. You get 250k on legend, like for your legend score. You get two um, red zone packs. I do not know if you get everything out of this or if you just get the two red zone packs. I do not know. If you got everything out of it, that would actually not, might not be that bad. These two red zone, three midfield, four Hail Mary, and then some coins would be actually pretty nice to get to do it. But I'm assuming you don't get all that stuff. So my personal opinion is if, you, if your auction house works, um, do the playbook method. Might not work for that long, not that much for longer, but the pack is very cheap to do, and it's easy profit. Uh, if you haven't, don't have any coins, or if you're waiting for stuff to sell, do your solo challenges, and then go to solo seasons. I would say, uh, or if you have a good team, like 80, 81, 82 team, you do head-to-head -head seasons. If you want to try to play competitive, which I have played a couple, I played two games. Uh, I played against one bad team, then played against a guy of all 85s. It's it is what it is. Uh, if you do want to upgrade your team right now, best way to do that is buying platinum players. These platinum players go for under the price cap, like under the price cap for like the regular cards. So like if you want to go, like if you want to go buy 85 overall, the best way to go buy 85 overall is buying the platinum because it's cheaper and it's platinum. Like for example, we have like these guys. We have Lilith Chanel, Javon Hargrave, and all that stuff. But if we look, go look at it, I, I don't know if there's any on market right now, but if we go look at Leo, there might be a platinum of him. Yeah, 270k right there for a platinum. The quick sell for 225. He's cheaper than the regular one, and it's better just to go with that. The only difference is I don't know if they have the, the chem, the also preseason chem, which kind of sucks. If you're going for that theme team. That's the only difference between them, I think. Maybe. But... What I would recommend, if you're not, if you don't want to do any of that, if you just want to snipe only, sniping only, I would probably stick to, it's really hard, it's really tough. Like, I, it's really hard to go to, from filter to filter right now. So, even like, staying rookies maybe, core rookies. I, core rookies, there's a lot of speed, dude, for rookies. Like, worthy, in wide receiver filter, you have, you have worthy, you have, um, Adani, Adani actually, uh, Adani for 8k is not that bad, I actually got, ch make sure you guys check how much GG up while you're doing this stuff, so you like look up their prices, like Adani, I don't know what he actually goes for, on a regular basis, he goes for 8,000, but yeah, that's max price, 8,000 max price, he could go up, I'm not sure, he is A3 speed, pretty good, I'm not really sure about him though. We also have Brian Thompson, the filter. Maybe some other guys, I'm not 100% sure. This guy might be fast. He's expensive. Yeah, another fast guy. There's so many rookies. There are rookies that are really fast in this game. So, if you, want to, if you want to snipe on filters, this might be the best filter. Might not be very consistent though. Because obviously, there's gold cards and all that stuff. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time.